Lately, the suspenseful story of Carlos' name has been focused on the satanic cult who decided to target him. Many unexplainable things have occurred such as his death certificate appearing in a random house, the unknown community that was thought to be abandoned but is actually occupied by people with Brazilian ties as well as the house out front disappearing out of nowhere. Today's focus will be on the paranormal. It is no secret that apart from the group who has been terrorizing him for months now, there are also signs of what seems to be poltergeist activity. If you thought things were bad enough already, prepare to witness something jaw-dropping. <laughs> Carlos is in clear distress with everything that has occurred. He doesn't seem to catch a break. I mean, who wouldn't be terrified after receiving threats constantly and witnessing things that you never thought could be possible? I counted the days in which nothing has occurred to me. Of course, he should have known it was too good to be true. Things were far from over. In fact, things were about to get much worse. The way Carlos worded his post was quite strange, but what is clear is that a guy was talking and the guy was specifically talking about something that had to do with Carlos, meaning it could have been the person who has been keeping close tabs on him. If things couldn't get any more concerning with this animated violent video, which without a doubt is another threat, Carlos receives a concerning message. I have just received this picture of my grandma sleeping, sent from her cell phone. They are typing and they have been for a while now. They are now sending pictures of my mom sleeping. She is not in the house, but the photo is from the room beside where she would sleep when she lived here with me. Worried by the fact that they are sending pictures of his mom in his home when she no longer lives with him, he decides to go check it out. Unaware from where this painting came from, upon further inspection, Carlos notices something that ties in with his mom. On this painting, there was a portrait that my mom made of my siblings and me. It is even signed. Someone came inside. Soy Carlos. Esta es mi casa. ¿Cómo te llamas? Aquí vivo. Desde hace mucho tiempo. ¿Me vas a contestar? No te voy a hacer nada. Esta es mi casa. While roaming through his home, Carlos managed to see a person in which he describes had no face. I don't think 
Carlos realizes that that isn't a person. It is the thing that has been causing his books to fall, doors to open, or the unexplainable music that sounds all over his home. It is an entity. What is concerning is how another painting appeared which seems to be the same as the one that we first saw, but for the exception that it's not finished. Eso de tu abuelita no te preocupes. Mira, solo los demonios pueden mover objetos. En tu casa el poltergeist es muy elevado. Y bueno, como te dije, eh, grábate con una cámara mientras estás dormido, porque si a tu mami y abuelita les pasa eso, yo estoy segura que tendrás muchas respuestas si ves qué es lo que pasa cuando tú duermes. Now, it has been established that it isn't just a normal entity that is roaming around his home. The medium believes that it is a poltergeist. This explains how it has thrown his books to the ground or moved around the paintings and other objects as well. Upon having a conversation with the medium, Carlos decided to take her advice and record the moment he is at his most vulnerable, his sleep. The shot of the camera shows my door and bed. I will sleep with the light on. I have hung it next to my bed. I do not know if it is good, but I see it as a symbol of protection now that what was originally on there disappeared and angel figures appeared. This is how my wall looks this morning. The painting has changed again. Never have I took out blood and then received it in this type of container and this is here on the floor with my name on it. The camera is on the floor. I hope that something was recorded at least. The video lasts about 5 hours and 12 minutes. I am looking through it. Never could have Carlos ever imagined what he was about to witness next. What my eyes have just witnessed gave me the chills. Pray for me, please. I do not know if I should show the video. I have enough already with all the insults I receive online and in the street. 0 52, the lights turned off. 1 21, the lights turned on. Carlos was levitating over his bed, something nobody ever wishes to experience because that only further proves that the poltergeist is at its most powerful. I have just talked to the medium, Hori, the one who sent me the audio. Hori is a clairvoyant with the ability to be in two worlds, the spiritual and the physical. She told me that we need to have a spiritual session inside my house one of these days. She's asking for two witnesses to participate. Not so long after, he would receive a visit from something unexpected. I do not know for how long this crow has been here. It has some papers tied to it. Get out, they are going to burn your house. An anonymous message from an unknown individual warning him to get out his house. Who could this person possibly be? It just entered my house. It has another page and I can't take it away from it. It is really aggressive. 
tiene como una cosa. Tiene un papel ahí. Ay. It is an address in Los Angeles. If you look closely at the bottom of the note, you could see that it looks like if it was burnt a little. Maybe somebody who is a victim of the same cult is attempting to warn him. There are people outside. All of them are dressed in white. They do not move. They are less than a hundred meters. There is a person more close. He is the only one in black. We have just left the house. There are no longer people outside. I am going to the police. Entering private property without consent. Flying drones towards a room invades privacy and threats. They have strong legal consequences. Carlos has had enough and is going to get some help. Probably the wisest decision since there was a group of people in all white who gave off cult vibes. It is a good idea that he has fire extinguishers ready just in case. This was the end of the thread and it seems like the next one is going to be even more intense since we are probably going to see an update of what occurred with the group and the police. Something to look forward to is the seance that he is going to have with the medium. Guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this story and don't forget to subscribe with post notifications so you are notified when I update your favorite stories. I'll see you guys in the next video.